Welcome back to my Creative Capsule channel. In this video, I will show you how to paint laminate furniture with chalk paint and glaze. I will upcycle this dresser vanity and give it a white wood effect using a light gray chalk paint and a smoky gray glaze. At the end, this is what it's gonna look like. If this is the first time you're visiting my channel, this video is part of a segment on redecorating our guest bedroom, which was really a storage room. Uh, I'm doing it in sections and in every video I tackle one part of the project. In my last video I repainted the nightstand with chalk paint but using a different finishing. If you haven't seen that, please look at the description and click on the link to watch it. In this video though, I will only be concentrating on painting the dresser, but if you're interested to follow the progression of the room decor, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you will know whenever I upload the next video. I will be working on the walls, uh, putting wallpaper, and of course doing some artwork and uh, getting some items accessorized uh, to finalize the room decor. Uh, but for now, let's go back to the dresser. It's pretty beaten up and instead of throwing it out, we're gonna upscale it. These are all the items I will be using. You can find them uh, detailed and listed in my description below. So let's start first by uh, protecting our mirror and covering it with paper. Then I'm gonna remove all the handles and the drawers. Then properly cleaning all the surfaces with soap and water. Sometimes you can use mineral oil, but I prefer to use uh, soap and water. Now it's time to properly sand our surface with a 200 grit sponge without pressing too hard. The point here is just to remove the shine without really scratching all the laminate surface. Once I'm done with the light sanding, I'm going to remove all the dust particles properly with a wet cloth. Now that my prep work is done, I'm ready to start with my first coat of chalk paint. So I'm taking my light gray with a 2 inch brush and I'm just spreading it there evenly. same technique to paint the frame of my mirror and the drawers. After my first coat is done, I'm gonna wait for about a couple of hours for the paint to dry and do my second coat. I won't be showing the painting techniques in this video, but if you do want to learn how to use chalk paint, you could reference my old video with a nightstand painting that I'm linking below in the description. Once 
Once I complete the application of my second coat of chalk paint, I will let it dry for 24 hours before I start applying the glaze. After 24 hours, I'm ready to start applying my chalk paint smoked glaze. I'm following the instructions on the can that require us to stir it properly before using it. I'm going to grab my 2 inch sponge applicator and use a generous amount of glaze for this first step. The glaze gets absorbed quickly by the chalk paint and I prefer to add a lot more of it on my surface so I could spread it more easily. I'm going to start now by creating a direction for my lines with the sponge while I'm applying the glaze. What I'm doing now is just giving a base for the wood texture I will be creating with my dry brush. Next, I'm going to use my one inch dry brush to remove the excess glaze and create the texture of wood veins on my surface. If I hold my brush with a handle, it's not giving me the effect that I'm looking for with the glaze. So I'd rather go and hold it more at the tip and apply more pressure while I'm doing my strokes. And you can clearly see how the lines now are appearing more enhanced and more pronounced. And that gives more a wood effect, the wood vein effect on my surface. I'm going to keep going back on my surface with strong brush strokes until I get the desired wood effect. I'm going to use the same technique to complete the remaining parts of the dresser. Now I must admit that this technique consumes a lot of time, but if you're an artist and you enjoy recreating textures and painting movement, you will have as much fun with this process as I did.
applying the glaze on all the surfaces, I will give it 48 hours to dry completely before applying the wax that will seal my paint and my glaze. Forty-eight hours have passed and now I'm ready to use my wax, a clear wax that I'm going to apply with a round two-inch brush. I will spread a generous amount evenly on my surface and remove the excess with a rag. And of course, I will apply the wax on all the surfaces of the dresser and the frame of the mirror. And as I want my hardware to match that of the nightstand that I painted in my last video, I will use the 100 grit sanding paper to brush off the black paint that I had previously applied on the hardware um, to show the antique gold that is underneath it. I'm going to wait a full week before I go back and put my hardware on my drawers and install the drawers back on the dresser. And finally, I'm going to remove the protective paper before I uh, place back the mirror on the dresser. And our dresser vanity is finally completed. Let me know in your comments if you like the way it turned out and if you have any questions regarding the techniques and the application of the chalk paint and the glaze. Also, let me know if you like the hardware and the white wood effect. I personally am very satisfied with the result. I cannot wait to complete the decoration of this room. If you also want to see how the room is going to turn out once it's finalized, don't forget to subscribe. And here is before and after picture. Thank you for watching this video. Please give me the thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and you liked it. And don't forget to leave me your comments. See you next time.